Hey guys, welcome to a Tuesday bonus video. Today we're checking out a sound card for Windows 98. It is the Sound Blaster ODG 2ZS. So before we look at Windows 98, the ODG 2ZS is really more period correct for Windows XP. But, and you can still use the sound card for Windows XP, but in my opinion, you better off getting a Sound Blaster X5. This is the titanium with the PCI Express interface. And if you're building a Windows XP retro gaming machine and you want a good sound card, I would choose this instead of the ODG 2ZS. For Windows 98, this is Creative's best sound card. It will have the nicest sound and the installation can be a little bit tricky and we also have to talk about whether this is the best overall Windows 98 sound card. There are a couple of options and yeah, is this the best sound card for you? All of this we will talk about in this video. And here we have the test system that we're using for this project and let's have a closer look. So here's the sound card. For video I'm using the GeForce FX 5200. It doesn't have any fans so it's nice and quiet and it has a DVI output which makes my life easier for video capturing. We have a slot 1 main board from AOPEN with the Intel 440BX chipset. There's a 256 megabyte SD RAM module from Crucial and we've got a Pentium 3 running at 600 megahertz. I'm using two hard drives. One is for Windows and all the drivers and the second one has all the games on it. That just speeds up my workflow when producing videos. Rather than having to install games, I just plug in a second hard drive and I've got a couple of games ready to test. And for power, nothing fancy, we've got a Corsair VS350 power supply. And just a few words about the Sound Blaster Live. This is the Sound Blaster Live 5.1, the SB0100. And this is usually my go-to sound card with Windows 98. It doesn't sound as good as the Audigy 2 ZS, but the installation is a lot easier and also faster. Um, and the downside, however, with the live cards is there are lots of different versions and OEM versions with the drivers being very difficult to hunt down. If you want a live that just works, look for the SB0100 or, or the SB0060. Those uh, sound cards uh, work with the official drivers from Creative and are really quick and easy to install. So looking at these specifications, this is a really impressive sound card. 108 decibel of signal to noise ratio. We've got 24 bits and 192 kilohertz sample rate in stereo. It does EAX 4.0, which is not really of use with Windows 98. This is more for Windows XP. It is also very strong with surround sound for DVD movies. And we have 64 channels. At the back, we have three outputs for surround sound. Microphone goes here. We have a line input and here's a digital output. Also, the sound card has a FireWire port. And let's have a quick look at the most important headers. Telephone answering devices here. This is the analog CD input. So if you've got a uh, CD-ROM drive with analog CD audio out, you connect that here. Auxiliary input. This is for FireWire. And we also have a digital CD input. So some optical drives have a SPDIF. Uh, output at the back. If your drive has that, you can use the digital input and that way you can get uh, crystal clear CD audio music. The analog input, uh, the cable can act a little bit like an uh, antenna. You can pick up interference and that's also something you want to do uh, is mute all the analog inputs uh, to reduce noise. So if you have a optical drive that has a digital audio output, use that instead. The sound card has a lot of input and outputs. Amongst them, there's an interesting port here at the back and you can Google a pinout with all the connectors. The one for me that is of interest the most is the SPDIF for optical audio out. I use that a lot for capturing to get crystal clear audio recording and you can get one of these brackets for maybe $10 of eBay and then you just have to uh, modify the cables a little bit. I will put some resources down below in the uh, description in case this is something that you want to do. 
So in the beginning of the video I mentioned that this is Creative's best sounding sound card for Windows 98 and you might be wondering why I haven't used this sound card more often in my projects and that is because the installation is a real pain in the neck. It takes a lot longer. So I'm just going to briefly walk you through the installation. Firstly you need to download the installation CD. You can get that from the really fantastic Vogons drivers website. I will put a link down below in the description and then you burn that ISO onto a CD and you insert the CD, the installer will launch and then you install the drivers. I chose the full installation and on the Pentium 3 with 600 megahertz it took around 20 minutes to 25 minutes so quite a long installation process. Worst even is that the drivers that the disk will install are the WDM drivers, Windows driver model. They are more stable, but for gaming they are not recommended. They have a higher CPU overhead as well and you will get lower performance. So firstly you need to install, and there's no way around that, firstly you need to install the drivers from the disk and you will end up with the WDM drivers and then after the drivers have been installed and you rebooted the machine you can go into the start menu and inside the creative menu there will be an option to change out the driver and this will then side grade the drivers to the VXD drivers which is what you want. The utility is called the creative driver update utility so that's the tool you need to run after you have installed the drivers of the disk and only after all that will you have the VXD drivers which is what you want for Windows 98 retro gaming to get the best performance and all the EAX acceleration fully working. Another important thing to be aware of is that the driver disk will silently and without your approval upgrade DirectX to version 9. Now for Windows 98 this is not necessary. I usually go with DirectX 7. So this is also something to keep in mind. This shouldn't cause issues with most games but it might. So again this is just something to be aware of. And after you have installed everything, there's actually quite a bit of software that you can experiment uh, with. I'm just focusing on games, so you don't have to perform a full installation. You can choose one of the other options, but I just wanted to see how long the process actually takes. And now we can play some games and the sound quality, and this is just very subjective. I've listened to quite a few sound cards with uh, yeah, fairly decent headphones and this is by far the best creative sound card you can get for Windows 98. It will sound very clean, very quiet. So if you are into playing with headphones, you will love this sound card. It will sound quite a bit better than a Sound Blaster Live, for example. If you're using PC speakers, then the difference might not be that noticeable simply because yeah, with headphones you can pick up finer details more easily. Um, maybe you've got some really good studio monitors or something like that and then you might also be able to pick out a difference. But uh, usually when I listen to speakers they all kind of sound the same. It's only with headphones where I can uh, tell that there's a difference in quality. So if you are an audio enthusiast and you like high-end headphones, you will really like the sound of the sound card. High-end Windows 98 audio and that is the Aureal Vortex 2. This is a very specialized card. It's got its own API, A3D, and games that support this API and if you do listen with headphones you are in for a treat. So um, which sound card is the best overall for Windows 98? That is a tough one. It depends on the game and it depends on the API. If your game supports uh, A3D version 2 and uh, has a good implementation then the Aureal Vortex 2 for those games will be the best option. But if you play uh, games that use Creative's EAX technology, then hands down the Audio G2 ZS is the best sound card. 
So guys, to summarize everything, the Sound Blaster Live is what I recommend to anyone who wants a quick installation. You don't even need to drive a disc. There's one folder that you can extract from the driver CD, which I have done. And you can just run the installer from that folder and the drivers are installed within a minute. It just takes one reboot and you will get a fairly decent sounding uh, sound card. But if you listen with headphones, you will be able to uh, pick up a bit of noise and it will not sound as good as the Audio G2 ZS. If you play mostly games with the EAX API, then this is hands down the very best sound card for Windows 98. The driver installation is a bit of a pain, but it's a one-off. Once you've installed the drivers, you're good to go. And unfortunately, it does force Windows, uh, sorry, it does force Dart X9 onto the machine, which is a bit of uh, an annoyance. But in most cases, this shouldn't be an issue. And finally, and this is a very specific uh, use case, if you play a lot of games that use the A3D2 API, then the Oriel Volux 2 uh, is hands down the best sound card, especially if you're playing with headphones and you want that wall hack uh, type experience where you're able to locate enemies with your ears, then you are really in for a treat. But today's video is about the Sound Blaster 2 Audigy, uh, the Sound Blaster Audigy 2 ZS, and for most games, and many games support the EAX API. Many games support both. You can toggle between EAX and A3D. So in most games, you will still have an option. Um, and yeah, most games will sound really nice on the sound card. And anything with EAX will sound absolutely terrific. And you will not find a better sounding sound card, in my opinion, for Windows 98 gaming for the majority of games. And for those who want a really uh, quiet experience, you even have the option to use uh, digital audio out and then route that into yep, an amp, uh, a DAC, an external DAC, so to speak. And uh, the question still is out. Um, well, if you're using digital out, is there any benefit between the Sound Blaster Live and the Audio G2 ZS? And my answer is, I'm not sure. Um, there shouldn't, but um, yeah, I tried listening i couldn't really tell a difference so if you're using digital audio out then the whole argument of getting the sound card might actually not be that strong anymore but the majority will probably just plug in a uh, headphone into the analog output and in that case the audio g2 zs is hands down the best option from creative so yeah that was a short and sweet video there's really not much more to talk about um, those are my recommendations I'm eager to hear what do you think. Uh, do you agree that this is the best uh, creative sound card for Windows 98? But what are your thoughts on the overall best sound card? And yeah, have you used this before? Maybe you are considering it now. You should be able to pick this up on eBay for not too much money. But as always, um, if I make a video like this, sometimes prices do creep up a little bit. But keep an eye out. It's a really lovely sound card. Nice color scheme with black and gold and high-end components. And yeah, definitely something to keep an eye out. And that's it for this video, guys. So yeah, do share your thoughts down below in the comment section. Well, I love hearing from you. And as always, if you've got any recommendations or suggestions for future videos, keep them coming. If you found this video interesting, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and share it with your friends. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I shall see you soon with another one.